Good morning, everyone. Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. And how are you doing? I missed you. Yeah, I was trying to think last week, how am I going to let them know I'm not going to do any videos this week? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Other than to come on and tell you I'm not going to do a video. Um, yeah, things just uh, got a little out of control and um, I couldn't find anything and we were doing a lot of heavy duty moving of furniture and things like that and I just, uh, I just started to get very frazzled. So I took the time off. <laughs> anyway, I'm back and, uh, you know, it was only a week, big deal. But uh, here I am, and just to give you a few little updates of what's happening. So, you know, this is probably the longest move in history, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, yeah, okay. So let's talk about something else. I decided, um, because I'm a crazy person, in the middle of all this to um, sign up for a challenge and it's a YouTube challenge and I had heard of it. A friend of mine told me about it. It's called Ignite and if you're interested in making YouTube videos, now of course you know I already make them, but I thought you know lots of people are taking this challenge that have been making videos, you know you learn more and tips and tricks and who who doesn't need a tip or trick so um, I signed up for it. I'm going to put the link for it in my description box below. If you're interested, they say you can sign up at any time. We are already about halfway through it, but um, the videos, let me see if I can explain this. Um, you make like two minute videos and it's to get you comfortable in front of the camera. It's uh, really for people who have never done videos before and want to learn how to do them or they're newbies and they want to get better. And like I said, I'm taking the challenge too because you could always learn something. Um, they give you one prompt every day and uh, you have to make a video. And as I said, it's a very short one. It's very easy. Um, and if you miss a couple of days, it's not a big deal. You could, do, like I did, make five or six videos all in, in one shot one day because it had snowed here and I I keep my camera and whatnot. We're at the little house by the way. <laughs> so I keep everything is here now and it snowed and I was stuck at the other house. So anyway, um, I'm going to leave the link. Check it out. If you think you're interested in it, you know, you can certainly do it. If you participate and do the full 22 days, you um, then get a free class on um, video making. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that and it's called Ignite, I-G-N-I-T-E. All right, so what's she up to, okay? <laughs> I'm really still packing and unpacking, but aside from that, um, I am doing these little squares uh, the little slow stitch squares that I think I showed you um, last time we were talking. So I, I, I pre isn't this one cute? I love sock monkeys. <laughs> I just love them. So I prepare the squares ahead of time. And then, um, I don't know if I'm holding it in the right, whatever. And then, you know, at night I'll stitch on them. Or to be honest with you, sometimes during the day when I'm sitting here and I just feel like I'm going to have a meltdown. <laughs> I'll, I'll just get out one of my little, I like this one, one of my little squares. Oh, the, probably the light went through there. One of my little squares and I'll just start stitching. So there's a whole pile of them here. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Recycle Parts for Art. And I post them over there. Um, not every single day. I'll usually post a couple. Um, here and there, but what I did is I made a little baggie and I put all the all the makings You know uh, some threads scissors some buttons um, Some squares in the little baggie and this way I'm ready to go right and I am enjoying it all right, I also <laughs> also started this cute little square a ratty rag square. Isn't it adorable? 
Yeah, I think I might make um, little seat cushions or something. Or maybe like a hot pad for my, um, my table. I don't know. But, um, you know, I love these colors, the yellow and the green. They make me happy. And here, here's the pile. There's the pile right there. So don't they look pretty? So I am doing a little bit of, of art. Um, I did want to show you behind me. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is my new counter. Now, if you haven't seen this, uh, I was taking photographs. I was posting on Instagram when my husband was making this and um, a couple people asked me about it so I thought you know I'm gonna take the photographs that I made I'm gonna put them together um, and make a short video so there's a two minute video in um, my channel lineup how my husband made this and I don't want to mess with the camera but right here there's a vintage rulers you know what maybe I will mess with the camera because I want I really want you to see that Okay, you see the vintage rulers? Yeah, they're so, they're adorable. I just love it. So he made this counter, and basically what it is, is the flooring that he ripped up that was in the, um, the regular part of the house. I'm pointing over there because it's over there. <laughs> anyway, it's reclaimed flooring. It's oak floor, and I just absolutely love it. He did a fabulous job on it. Uh, we did wax it um, to bring up the natural beauty of the wood, but we didn't sand it. So, you know, the varnish was partially coming off because it was a, quite an abused floor. I think that the house was built in the 50s, so I'm, I'm thinking that the floor was there from then. Anyway, do you see what's behind there? What's in the background? So these are all my pens and pencils. Well, there's still a few missing, but it's 98% of them, I do believe. And I wanted to tell you about this because this is recycled. This was a box, and I did post this on Instagram. I don't know if it was a CD tower box or what because it, it looks like a very old box, so I couldn't tell you what was what it was used for. But it has these little notches in here, and so I wound up, I cut these had a very sturdy cardboard I cut and I put put them in the notches and I made all these separations for my pens isn't it nice I mean come on this one I don't know if you remember from my other art room was in there and this is also a CD case a CD holder it's laying on its side and again the notches so this one I had to do a couple of pieces of cardboard but come on doesn't it look nice I mean, really. And it's so handy. And it's it's going to stay here. It's going to live here on my counter. And the last thing I wanted to show you was these. <laughs> because I love these. Okay. So this is an old can. Okay. You know, it's like a vegetable can. But it was never processed. So I don't know if you can see. There's like this lip on it, and it was never like it never had vegetables in it. My husband found a whole big box of them, and I just love them because they're grungy looking. And actually, you see, see that would be the top piece that would go on here. There was a bunch of the top pieces too in this box that he that he found. So I have like a whole big um, carton of them. So I think I might put some of them in my Etsy shop after I finish using whatever I think I'm going to use in my art room. But, yeah, I'm real happy. And that's just an old crate. Uh, that's a, a Coke, actually, a soda crate thing. And, um, yeah. And then, can you see the? Yeah, you can see these boxes. So the boxes are uh, like when somebody mails you a package. Um, I like to recycle. I don't throw, you know, I recycle everything. So I don't throw out the packages. So this is, a, um, I think, a, a medium flat rate box. That, that's what these are. And I painted them. You know, you pull the labels off, and then I painted them. And, yeah, to hold my books and stuff. And just it just keeps it neat and tidy. I'm all about the neat and tidy um, <laughs> in, this, in this art studio. Yeah. Should I, should I turn the camera and show you the rest of the room? 
This is the only space that's cleaned up. So uh, let's see. I do have my list. Um, okay, my pen box. My, oh, my ratty square. I did want to tell you one of the other things I'm working on is I'm working on a new class now. Some of you know I made a class for Skillshare where I showed you how to make my ratty rag rugs. Well, this time uh, I'm going to make another class, but I'm not going to put it on Skillshare. I'm going to do a real class um, and put it on a class uh, platform, which is a Teachable. It's called Teachable. So I'm working on that now, and I don't know how long it's going to take me because I'm moving and working on it. But it is so much fun because it's like my reward for cleaning and, well, not cleaning, sorting stuff and putting things away, which is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. So anyway, anybody lives nearby, they want to come on over, <laughs> feel free. All right. And I think that's about it. I just really wanted to pop on and tell you guys that I miss you. And I, I am thinking about you all the time. And um, I don't know how to get a message to you. Sign up for my newsletter. Um, go to my website, RecyclePartsForArt.com. Sign up for my newsletter. Maybe I can keep in touch with you that way. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm only writing one newsletter a month at this point. It's around the 15th of the month I send that out. And um, I generally will mark a couple things on sale in the Etsy shop and, and, um, and let you know about it um, in the newsletter. But, yeah, I wish YouTube had a newsletter because then you could say to your peeps, hey, you know, I'm not making a video this week. Anyway, i got to get back to my shop updates, too. And so much to do, right? So little time. Anyway, I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art and I miss you, and I hope I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.